Hi guys, I hope you're all having a wonderful day. I am actually at a different location today. I'm dog sitting for my parents, so I'm at their house and I've been there. I've been here for about like a week and a half already. Um, so I'm pretty much settled in into this, into this condo. Um, my parents have been out of town and so I just decided to take care of our dog, Chloe. Um, my sister Natalie and I take care of her sometimes, but she's really old and she gets seizures. So it's hard to like keep moving her like especially if it's not for like a long period of time since my parents were just out for like a week and a half. So today I wanted to do a spring haul. It's gonna be shoes, like one top only, and some beauty stuff from Sephora. I have gone a little shoe crazy. I just found that I didn't have any shoes to wear either to work or kind of like wedge style shoes. It's been really nice and warm and spring is right around the corner so I wanted to get a few pairs and got a little bit more than anticipated actually but I guess it worked out I when I decluttered in January I got rid of so much so it kind of included a lot of just stuff that was kind of worn or like I had a few Tory Burch wedges that I would wear to work and they just like I mean they were four years old so it was just time to upgrade and get a few new things I'm gonna start off with just one thing I have. This is a top from Joie, and I got it at Neiman Marcus, and this is what it looks like. I got it at Neiman Marcus because I had like a gift card from Christmas there still, and I love Joie tops. They're so overpriced, but they're like extremely nice material. They're silk, and I just loved this print and thought this is such a beautiful blouse. I can totally wear it to work, um, wear it kind of like with some like dressier pants or like a pencil skirt or a skirt for work and you can wear this with jeans or shorts or really anything. It's really versatile. It has all that pretty detailing in the buttons. It's so nice. It's a little loose and just really comfy to wear. It is a bit of a pricier item. I don't usually buy tops this expensive. I usually buy my tops at Ann Taylor or Banana Republic or J. Crew or Nordstrom and stuff like that. But I decided to take the plunge since I had a gift card and I really liked it. I just thought the print was so beautiful and just like it screams spring. And moving on to Tory Burch, I went there yesterday, went a little bit crazier than anticipated. I really went in for flats but fell in love with a pair of wedges and I was just like, I'm just gonna get both. I know I'm gonna use both. I know that I will actually use them both in the near future. Like I actually use these flats today because I just, didn't have any flats. I don't have any nice flats. I just don't have, like I have one pair. So I wanna wear flats to work a lot of the times, but I just like don't have any. Decided to pick up these. These are um, like ba ballet, I was gonna say ballerina, <laughs> ballet flats um, from Tory Burch. That's what they look like. They're the black ones with this really cute bow and the gold logo. Now, these are not the Riva, um, I forget, you know what, I don't have the thing. I'll, I'll get it in a second. But these are so comfortable. Literally, if you follow me on Instagram, I posted about them because, oh my lord, you guys, like this just feels like a slipper, honestly. Like, if you guys are familiar with Tory Burch flats, they take a while to break in. These are amazing. I'm so excited that I got these and I find that they're really nice and you can totally wear these for work. Um, they're pretty dressy flats and I'm just so happy I got them. Got another pair. Um, these are wedges. Oh my lord, it's slipping and flat in here. Um, and I actually sized up in these. I'm usually an eight and these are the eight and a half. So this is what they look like. They're so feminine, so girly, and so just like classic, I think. I love the tan. I find that they're perfect for summer. And I like that this is not like completely rounded. I don't know if you can tell, it's kind of pointed. It's obviously not like a very pointy toad, but I just love these so much. They're gorgeous and so classic and just, I'm obsessed. I can't wait to wear these. Uh, these are, let's see. Yeah, so these are both of them. They're so cute. I love them a lot. They're gorgeous. And I'm, I'm going to a conference in Fort Lauderdale on Monday and I'm totally gonna bring both of these and wear these because I feel like these are so nice and so comfortable when you need to be a little bit more put together for like a conference or work or meetings and stuff like that. And um, You know, I think sometimes there's a fine line between like going out shoes and 
shoes that you wear to work and I hate when that line is crossed. These are absolutely perfect and these are something you can totally wear out to dinner or on the weekends or like to girls night or something like that. They're just so nice. I love them. If you watched my weekend vlog of last week, I showed these but I wanted to mention them again because they are amazing and they're super comfortable and I've gotten a lot of compliments on them. They're the Yardley Sandal by Sam Edelman. Um, that's what they look like. I got them in black. They do come in beige and I believe a few other colors, but um, I like these because a lot of times like shoes are either too narrow or too wide for a lot of people and with these you can really adjust. Um, this toe part is the only thing that's not adjustable and it's perfect, it doesn't bother me at all. Uh, but these are the ones where you can totally adjust it and make them comfy and kind of like lace them up however you want. I highly recommend these. These are awesome and these are just going to be perfect for spring and summer. I think that they will look really cute with dresses. They look nice with um, like skinny pants and leggings and they're going to look super cute with like rompers and shorts too. So Sam Edelman Yardley. I'm telling you guys, I'm like having such a shoe moment. Um, these I actually, my friend Kristen works at Michael Kors. And um, I went with her and got these today and she was just like, they were having a sale. So I was luckily able to get these on a sale and oh my Lord, I've had these before, but I've had them in the tan and I actually um, gave them away because they were just so beaten and battered. They're the Josephine Wedge by Michael Kors, the most comfortable wedge you will ever wear in your entire life. So these are them. Um, I got them in the black. They are so freaking flattering to your leg. They make your legs look like so long and lean. I love, love, love these wedges. That's what they look like, Michael Kors. They're super, super beautiful. I think I actually might wear these tonight. So watch my weekend vlog if you wanna see my OOTD or OOTN or whatever. Um, I might, yeah, I probably will post that before this. So that's what they look like. So, I mean, they're the same, so I don't know why I had to show you both. And I like that it has that little wooden thing. Again, I find that these are appropriate for work, depending on your office environment. I wore mine all the time to work, like either with skinny pants or with um, like work dresses or skirts. I find that they're very comfortable and appropriate for the office. Um, you know, I never felt like inappropriate wearing these. So I love, 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 love these shoes. And I think I'm gonna wear them tonight. All right, so just quickly mentioning a few beauty bits. Um, I don't wanna make this video super long. I tr I, I'll give you my thoughts on a few of these things. I really wanted to mention this bronzer brush by Chanel. I got it last week. Again, if you saw my weekend vlog, I got this and the Yardley sandals and that's where I showed them. But this bronzer brush is Bay. It is amazing. It really does a, such a good job of applying product. Um, I didn't want to do like too much makeup tonight since I, I don't know, just wasn't feeling like spending a lot of time on it, but I just did. I've been using it with either the Bobby, a Bobby Brown bronzer or the Charlotte Tilbury bronze and glow. And that's what I use today. And I really like it. I, you guys need this brush. It's amazing. It's worth the money. I swear. Uh, I got the Marc Jacobs, um, noir velvet velvet noir mascara that like everyone's been talking about i really like it um i heard that it was like lengthening and like kind of separating and i do really like it my Givenchy one i still really like but um which is this one i talked about in my favorites it's just kind of dry and i ran out of it like i feel like i'm nearing the end and it was very i only bought it in early february so well i guess it's like mid-march but I don't know. I feel like it ran out very fast. Uh, I got a few things from Anastasia. Um, my Sephora just started carrying Anastasia, like the full line of it. And I got this highlight brush. It is the A23. And that's what I used to apply my highlight today. Just kind of like dabbed it right here, here, and here. It's really nice. I really like it a lot. And I got one of her famous glow kits. Um, total impulse purchase. And I definitely don't need this, but I just saw it and I thought it was beautiful. And what really drew my attention to it was that it was only $40 and it is a lot of product. When Mel from Makeup Phases with Mel had 
put this on her Snapchat and when she was swatching it, I thought it was so pretty, but for some reason I literally thought it was half the size or maybe smaller. So I was like $40 for that little thing. But when I saw it in person, I was like, oh my God, this is huge. Like it is like, this is a big size palette. I mean, it's like almost the size of my head. I mean, to compare it to like a Tom Ford quad, um, like this is a Tom Ford quad and then that's, this is like very large, but it's still, it's not large enough for me to like not get it because it's bulky. It's very thin and I think it's pretty compact, but it is the one in Gleam and these are the ones that it comes with. I am wearing um, this one, Hard Candy, like as like a blush kind of and Crushed Pearl as my highlight, which is a beautiful, beautiful highlight. So these I feel like are more so, um, that's the only highlight really I would use. Starburst looks a little, well I mean they still kind of look like, yeah Starburst is really beautiful. Wow. Probably should have used that. It's a little more golden. But Crushed Pearl is gorgeous too. So that's Crushed Pearl, this one. They're really pretty. And definitely a bit more refined than like Becca highlighters. I love Becca highlighters but... Becca highlighters are like ba bing ba bang boom, you know, and this is more refined, a little bit more like subtle and probably better for every day as well. Um, these two, this is like totally a bronzer color and this is totally a blush color. I love it. I'm glad I got this and I don't regret it. And you guys should get it too because it's really pretty and you need it. Just trust me. You won't regret it. <laughs> this eyeshadow I totally meant to use today, but I forgot. It is Bobbi Brown Velvet Plum. And I just couldn't say no to this. I never have gotten a single Bobbi Brown shadow, but this is just like a maze balls. Look at that. Little swatch. Oh my. <laughs> it is, I would say, by Terry Ombre Black Star in the eyeshadow form. It is reflective, gorgeous. I can't even explain because it, it does, it's called Velvet Plum. It does have that little bit of a plumminess to it, but it is a bronzy, gorgeous, gorgeous shade. There, if you can see the light kind of catch it. Wow, it is stunning, guys. I should have used it today. I just completely forgot that I had gotten it. But that was, I didn't even do a hard swatch. Like, I just dipped my finger in it. Wow. All right, guys, so that was my little spring haul. I hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe if you have not. And as always, you can leave any video requests in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys another day. Bye.